Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples, for the Lord is great and highly to be praised. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who adorned Saints Timothy and Titus with apostolic virtues, grant through the intercession of them both, that living justly and devoutly in this present age, we may merit to reach our heavenly homeland through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God for the promise of life in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my dear child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience as my ancestors did, as I remember you constantly in my prayers, night and day. I yearn to see you again, recalling your tears, so that I may be filled with joy, as I recall your sincere faith that first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice, and that I am confident lives in you. For this reason I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner for his sake, but bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations among all peoples his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim Claim God's, God's marvelous, marvelous deeds to all the nations. The Lord be in your heart and in your lips that you may proclaim his, his gospel worthily in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. On another occasion, Jesus began to teach by the sea. A very large crowd gathered around him, so that he got into a boat on the sea and sat down. And the whole crowd was beside the sea on land. And he taught them at length in parables. And in the course of his instructions, he said to them, Hear this, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep, and when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it produced no grain. And some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit. It came up and grew and yielded thirty, sixty, and a hundredfold. And he added, Whoever has ears to hear ought to hear. And when he was alone, those present along, the tw along with the twelve questioned him about the parables. And he answered them, The mystery of the kingdom of God has been granted to you. But to those outside, everything comes in parables, so that they may look and see, but not perceive, and hear and listen, but not understand, in order that they may not be converted and be forgiven. Jesus said to them, Do you not understand this parable? Then how will you understand any of the parables? The sower sows the word. These are the ones on the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear, Satan comes at once and takes away the word sown in them. And these are the ones sown on rocky ground, who, when they hear the word, receive it at once with joy. But they have no roots, and they last only for a time. Then when tribulation and persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Those sown among thorns are another sort. They are the people who hear the word, but the worldly anxiety, the lure of riches, and the craving for other things intrude and choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But those sown on rich soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it, and bear fruit thirty and sixty and hundredfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we are celebrating the feast day of uh, Timothy and Titus. Who are these uh, <coughs> people? Uh, Timothy uh, uh, was uh, be became a friend and uh, uh, a commissionary of uh, of Saint Paul, and they, they they met somewhere in Corinth. And from there, um, he joined Paul in his second missionary journey. He was from Lystra, and Lystra is in, uh, in Asia Minor. Um, <clears throat> in, in Titus uh, was from Greece, and uh, he, he encountered Paul um, somewhere in Macedonia. And from there, they, uh, you know, help each other. Now, what's... Uh, St. Paul both uh, wrote letters to these two people, and uh, <clears throat> uh, Paul's, uh, the content of the letter of Paul to Timothy, that, that uh, first and foremost, that uh, um, he uh, should continue following, uh, following uh, the Lord no matter how hard it is, no matter what the consequences of uh, following Jesus he must never give up. <clears throat> uh, secondly, that uh, uh, he has to uh, keep uh, loving, uh, uh, following Jesus with hope and, and faith in hope. And, and uh, uh, that, that, that Timothy has to, uh, to train, to, to select and train people who would uh, continue to uh, 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 
be part of that small community uh, to uh, preach the good news of the Lord. In, in his letter, uh, in his St. Paul's uh, letter to uh, Titus, uh, uh, it sounds almost the same. Uh, he said that he has to be uh, um, faithful to Jesus. He, uh, he has to, to teach sound doctrines, that he has to uh, uh, also to train people to continue his work. And uh, he, has, uh, he has to uh, uh, exemplify in his, in his life the very life of that, uh, that was lived by St. Paul. Now, <clears throat> these this encouragements of St. Paul are also being encouraged to all of us, that we have to continue following the Lord, that we have to continue loving him, uh, believing in him, uh, that we have to, we have the obligation to uh, to uh, train people. That means to pass on these teachings, our faith to our children, the grandchildren, um, our friends, uh, so that this word of God will will not die. Will continue to grow, uh, just like uh, uh, the message of Jesus in the gospel today. So in the gospel, you know, Jesus uh, spells out. Uh, four kinds of people, um, and they have different attitudes in terms of uh, how they, uh, they welcome uh, the, the word, his word. Now, the first one, he says that, that these are, this, there are some people who <clears throat> are like the people in the, uh, uh, likened to a path walk where the seeds, uh, you know, uh, uh, fell and then... Uh, they, um, they, they, uh, uh, they hear the word of God, but uh, they don't listen. So it's, not, it's just on the head, but it's not in the heart. Uh, the second one, <clears throat> um, the rocky grounds, they uh, initially, initially they, they listen to the word of God, but uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't stay very long because, uh, you know, um, Probably he has no interest at all. Uh, and then the third one, uh, um, the uh, thorny, those who uh, fell on the thorn, among the thorns, uh, they, they, have an, they responded to the word of God, but uh, because of so many, so many other concerns, so many worldly cares, you know, the, the word of God will not stay very long also. It will not grow. But, but uh, uh, in Jesus likened the, the, four kind, the fourth kind of soil uh, to the apostles, to his followers, that uh, they were open, that there was openness on the word of God, and they would allow the word of God to, uh, to sink uh, uh, deeper and deeper into their hearts and until um, you know, it affects their lives and then it bears fruit. And, and that's what Jesus is encouraging all of us that uh, we have to uh, welcome the word of God and see to it that, that we allow that word of God, his word to, uh, uh, to grow deep in our hearts so that, so that it will not be stolen, so that it will not be scorched, so that it will not be uh, uh, choked by anything, uh, by the, especially by the worldly cares. We now pray. Lifting up our leaders before God, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For bishops, priests, and ministers, for all who exercise leadership among God's people, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For presidents, prime ministers, and heads of state, for all who hold power in society, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For bankers, brokers, and creditors, for all who work with money, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For judges, attorneys, and police. For all who serve the law and defend the weak, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For teachers, counselors, and volunteers. For all who teach and guide children, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For nurses, doctors, counselors, and social workers. For all who lead through their care, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Nancy Norgard, 
whom we remember at this Eucharist. We pray, Lord, hear of him. For the sick, the dying, and the dead, for all who lead the way into eternity, we pray. Lord, hear of him. And also for the soul of Ray Comber and then uh, Rebecca Chance, and for peace in uh, uh, Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Father, we beg you to listen to our prayers and we ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received the bread, we offer you the fruit of the earth, and work of your hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received the wine, we offer you the fruit of the vine, and work of your hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offering, offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of St. Timothy and Titus, and in, in your kindness render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to be right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of saints, uh, uh, Timothy and Titus, you bid your church rejoice so too your, you strengthen her by the example of their holy lives. Teach her by their words of preaching and give her in answer to their prayers. And so with, com with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the friend of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, and took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, friend, Lord of the world, and bring us to the fullness of charity, together with friends, our prophet, David, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, 
Nancy Norgarden, from your call from this world to yourself, grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, <coughs> her spouse, with the blessed apostles, in all the saints, Saint Timothy and Titus, who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command in form of advantage, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graceful grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul shall be healed. Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel. I am with you always, says the Lord. The body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ, 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 the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish in us that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the labors of St. Timothy and Titus. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth spreading the seeds of the gospel to all you meet. Thanks be to God, Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And the O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wandered through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.